Alrighty houses, welcome back. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to properly use multiple child elements. So right now, up to this point, we've been developing this program where we can kind of edit comments and we're going to be able to remove comments and we can kind of keep going with the, uh, you know, techniques that we've been using. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, in a few tutorials, we're going to run into a problem and that's this. What happens whenever we want to do stuff like rearrange these notes, put them in a different order? What happens when we want to just have more control over them? Well, this is the thing. Right now, we have a bunch of independent comments. This is a comment, this is a comment, and this is a comment. Now, even though we can set properties and states on them, we learned all about that, they still are independent. In other words, they don't know about each other. So this comment, hi, my name is Bucky, it doesn't even know that this comment exists. There's no way that they're connected. So whenever we try to do stuff like rearrange these, since they don't have an idea of each other's existence, it's gonna be really difficult for them to change order. They only exist in their own universe. So in order to have more control over them as a whole, instead of just individual comments, we need to pretty much surround it in a parent container or just think of it like a manager where you can kind of manage all the pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set up a board component and you can think of the board component as this blue surrounding container right here. Now, this board component is gonna be made up of all of these comments and since we set it up that way, it's gonna be aware of every single one and it can move them around, change your order, delete them, remove them, and it's a much better system than just having a bunch of standalone objects. So let's go ahead and do that and in order to make another component, let me just minimize that so it's a little bit easier to see. So here's my comments right here. You can make as many comments as you want. And I'm only going to make one called board. So I'm going to have one board. And we can stick, you know, a dozen comments in there, uh, three, however many we want. So in order to make a new board, just call React Create Class. Stick this as an object. Now, this is another thing that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to have an array in here, and this array is essentially gonna be equal to each comment. So again, in this board, we're pretty much gonna be able to reference each individual comment and manage them all in that kind of way. So let me just write git initial state, make sure I write that correctly, and this is gonna be a function. And again, all this is gonna do is it's gonna return an array of comments. So again, you can have as many states as you want, but I'm only going to be, you know, making a really simple example. So there I go. And let me just add three different comments. So I'll say, I like bacon. Um, want to want to get ice cream. Why do I always think about food? I think something's wrong with me. And I'll say, uh, okay, we have enough comments now. All right, so our initial state is essentially just an array with three strings of text. So remember, whenever we actually make a comment component, all we do is we just use comment and then we put a string of text right here. So it's gonna be really easy. So now let's go ahead and actually make those. Now, whenever we make it, remember we have to use the render function. So the render function, and again, if you have multiple functions, you need to separate them with a comma. This is gonna be responsible for returning whatever HTML that we wanna draw. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, since this is on multiple lines, surround it with parentheses, is I'm gonna make a div that's gonna represent this entire board. And actually, what I can do is actually just take this and copy it right here. So this is the HTML that it's gonna return. And now, whenever I render, I just have to write board like that, and it returns this. So the class name is board. And instead of just having these comments, I actually wanna make comments based on this array. So I pretty much have to take this array, loop through it, and for each item in it, I wanna stick it inside a comment right like here. So, I'll delete this, I'll do it the long way, all right. 
So what I'm gonna do is in order to do that in JavaScript, if you aren't familiar with mapping, we first need a reference to this comments array. Now remember, it's a state, it's not a property. And the reason it's a state is because it's going to change. So this state, and then you write the name of it, which is comments. And then what we can do with JavaScript is we can actually call a function called map. Now, whenever you use map, what you can do is you can throw in a function in here and it will call it for each element in the array. So whatever function we write right here, um, it's going to call it on this one and then this one and then this one. Now the arguments for this function or parameters are item I. So again, like I said, this map function is going to take this array and it's going to loop through it. And for each item, it's going to treat the text as item. And I can, I can actually change that to text. That might be a little bit easier. And for the counter, it's going to be equal to I. So zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, tomato, tomato. So for each of these iterations, what I want to do is just create a new comment. So I just want to return and remember. Make sure I got that capitalized comment comment. Now, whenever we make a comment, all we do is we add the text in between and now we're good to go. So this is going to work just fine. However, here is the one issue that we have right now. We're just creating a bunch of comments, but we still don't have any really unique way to identify each one. The reason that we set up this new kind of architecture is because we wanted this board to kind of be a manager for all of the comments. So in order to have control over these comments, we need to give them a unique identifier. Now, the main way that you kind of do this is you actually use a key. So in react, a key is a way that you can uniquely identify each child and you can actually give it an ID or ID number or whatever you want. But this is kind of the standard way. And we'll take a look at a couple of tricky things later. But for right now, there you go. So again, we made a board and all this board did it is it took an array and for each item in the array, it generated a comment. So now this board, it actually owns all of these comments. Pretty cool, huh? So now if I refresh this, we can see I like bacon, want to get ice cream. Okay, we have comments now. I like bacon, want to get ice cream. Okay, we have comments now. So essentially, it's the exact same result as before. But now, even though the user doesn't really realize it, we now have a lot more control over the items or comments in our program.